Hello, I am my soccer universe. Well, I was not about to pull the Bayern jersey down. I decided A, Bayern played yesterday in a somewhat whitish awful jersey. Yeah, let's do the same route as yesterday. Uh, for that, I don't want to say the game hurt too much, but I have too much respect for Barcelona. And Barcelona is, after all, among my favorite teams that I sit here globally with a Bayern jersey, although Barcelona had it coming and if they didn't read the signs of the past three years, now is the time that you actually uh, figure it out that something gotta change. Uh, so obviously if you're a Barca fan, maybe you won't be watching now or um, I don't think you will enjoy anything in this video, but you know, maybe, 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 maybe not. Uh, I am still in the process of making this a really nice office space now for me, so I have a plan of cleaning up, but I put a few jerseys here on the back to cover up the pillows. And I arranged now how the 5.30 sees the favorites with Bayern ahead of Manchester City, ahead of PSG, and up here on that Barcelona jersey, yes, yeah, something shiny. That's the Leipzig Red Bull can. I'm that stupid about it, but yeah. Let's talk about the game a little bit yesterday, because actually the weird thing is with the utter destruction that followed, uh, I don't think the Bayern, especially in the first half, didn't play all that well. Uh, which is not a good sign for Barcelona, because they that means that they uh, played abysmal. But um, I thought that from the get-go, what Barcelona did well, is to use the high pressing line and Bayern has probably the highest uh, uh, defensive line that you can see uh, and play the ball behind it and get chances that way uh, and I think they got uh, I, I got a half chance but I think if the, the pass is a little bit better played or in the second minute they maybe could have scored but I think I want to roll it back a little bit more because um, the lineup what I do not get um, Kike Sies is at the end, he already at the end of the Na Naapel game looked really like a dead man walking. I mean, uh, you saw his expression, he was apathic. I mean, when Gattuso congratulated him, you, you could see he's just there, he's just there. Uh, he lost the squad, uh, he knows that uh, after the season he is gone and uh, whatever. The squad he put out almost 30 years on average, which is never a good sign unless you were Milan in the late 2000s. They will pop up later in this video if I don't forget about them. Uh, that didn't sound well. Then look at the bench. This is almost uh, indicative of how bad Barcelona was managed ever since they had the uh, last Champions League win. Uh, there was Griezmann, there was Dambolet, and then on the other bench was Coutinho, players where they played each over a hundred million euros and they cannot find a space in the squad for them because they are just uh, flashy signings that don't do anything for the club. Uh, I have been moaning for a long time, Barcelona have lost their identity. Done and dusted. Then the other thing that I really, really do not understand. I knew already two days before the clash that Barcelona is going to play a 4-4-2. Two days before the clash, it leaked out that Barcelona is going to play 4-4-2 to kind of absorb a little bit more the pressure, to have a little bit more of a def defensive structure. I mean, this is Barcelona for crying out loud. Yes, Bayern is a great team, but uh, you have the few players. I mean, you have Frankie de Jong who has the calmness to kind of uh, counter, counter replace uh, the press. And what about Ricky Puch? What do you put out there? And you put Frankie de Jong in a position where he cannot do anything, where he doesn't even get, he is uh, squeezed out of the game. Uh, it was a mess from, from, from the get-go. And then um, what Bayern is showing us now, and what smaller teams like Atalanta, like Lask and Lask doesn't get the international at, uh, attention, like Leipzig and so on, are showing us that uh, Liverpool, everyone needs to work hard. You cannot afford the luxury to have two players beyond 30 up front hanging around and waiting for, uh, for the balls. Yes, they are two excellent players, absolutely, but uh, <laughs> Bayern was gonna have a field day. And yes, as I said, I thought at the beginning, Barcelona, 
they yeah they 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 playing playing forward. Seems like a game. Uh, but then already in the fourth minute, I mean, it was just three, it was similar like to the, the PSG Atalanta game. Uh, where it was just that it didn't squeeze in all in the third minute. Uh, Thomas Müller. Perisic runs down the flank, puts a white cross in for Müller, who you can see, he was, thinks of taking it directly uh, and slam it towards goal. But no, he then does the smart thing, and I have to say, this first goal is probably the big pick of the bunch for me, although there were really some nice goals for Bayern in India. He plays it then out of the air to Lewandowski, who bounces it back to him, and he puts Popel in the net. And the uh, immediate thought was, ah, here we go. Every route starts with a Müller goal. Look at it. 7-1 uh, Brazil, whatever. Whenever Müller scores first, uh, there is a route coming. Um, but it was not quite yet there because Barcelona answered very quickly uh, with Jordi Alba Paul putting across at Alaba. That clears rather. I don't I, I, I know if he had to go there because Suarez was right behind him. Uh, but it was a beautiful <laughs> take or goal and it went into O goal. 1 1. Yay! 10 minutes. Great start. And then Barcelona actually had chances, uh, most not, notably a uh, messy cross where Langley or PK cannot connect and it goes on to the post. Then there was a great chance where Nelson Semedo with the only thing that worked right for him this evening plays a really great through ball to Suarez, but Neuer just stands there and he cannot get, get it past Neuer. And so yeah. It comes where it should come. I felt that around 15 minutes or so on, Bayern is taking over. Bayern getting better. Bayern getting something. Gnabry onto Perisic and I don't know. Perisic actually, this was this guy was a joke last season at Inter. Uh, yes, he had a great World Cup, but at Inter he was an absolute joke. This guy held in the build for the first goal. He scores the second where uh, I don't know how this can... This has to be better defended. In the 27, and then it really looked like Ger Ger Germany, Brazil, uh, Goretzka with a nice pass over to Gnabry, who can also score outside of London in the Champions League. Make it 3-1. That was done there and does it. Then Kimmich plays it again to Müller uh, from, from the side. 4-1 after 34 one minutes. This was the fastest that a team has ever conceded four goals in the Champions League. And this was not... And no disrespect to any of these uh, teams that I could mention here. May, maybe I shouldn't mention a team because I don't want this. This was Barcelona. This was not but the body so for whatever. But it has actually done quite well. Akba uh, Karadam. You know, uh, teams that you don't uh, rate highly from, from, from the get-go that usually perform better. No, this was Barcelona who got that. Um, and then it was a field day for Bayern, who, if they take it a little bit more seriously, they could have scored a whole lot more. A whole lot more in the first half. Uh, yes, Barcelona had the occasional chance, but they completely broke down. Uh, absolutely lost in every, every regard. And I liked what uh, they really put this out there uh, before, before the game. I really liked what um, Vidal said. Uh, yeah, we are not a Bundesliga team. We we have Messi, we have Suarez. We are we are a really good team. <laughs> uh, yes, there have been Bundesliga teams who have been mauled by Bayern, but this is Barcelona, and Barcelona we would assume is on the same level as Bayern. Nothing like that. Second half, all I expected is that yeah, Bayern will take it easy, will play at home. Uh, and Barcelona probably will uh, try to uh, limit the damage. Um, and interestingly, um, Griezmann came on for Sergio Roberto, which, you know, Griezmann, yes, okay, you make a 4 3 3 now. It got even better than Le, 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 Le Don Ansu Fati came on and he had four attackers on for Sergio Busquets. I mean, this to me is always the sign of ultimate despair. Uh, 
The first time I can remember seeing this is when Berti Vogts uh, being like 2 nil down to Croatia at the World Cup in 98 puts out and had a suddenly four strikes, strikes out there. Uh, similar, I think it was in Ireland or uh, Netherlands for 2002 qualifying, where also then suddenly there's Kleiber, there's Van Nistelrooy, there's Van Hoydonk uh, and has Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank out there. If you have four strikers out there, this is desperation and you have no clue what you're doing at this moment. Suarez, after a nice pass from Jordi Alba, puts one back and again, the, the ever-growing optimist said, well, maybe, maybe after all these big uh, remontadas on Barcelona's side, they played big for the remontada against PSG. Uh, maybe Barcelona can do another remontada here and being 4-1 down at half, maybe they can pull, pull it off. And the commentator even had as much feeling. He said, as crazy as it sounds, but if Bayern really wants to be uh, safe, they're gonna need a fifth goal here. Yeah, Alfonso Davies completely, completely destroys Nelson Semedo. Uh, dangling the leg out for further shaking a lot, going in and then suddenly all Barca defenders converge onto the uh, near post, leaving everyone open behind and Davis just has to play it very nicely to Kimmich who makes it 5-2. Game done and dusted. What came after? Ooh. The last 10 minutes are the stuff made of, for nightmares. Um, Lewandowski gets his goal. I was actually, uh, I couldn't believe it. Coutinho came, came on. He assisted Lewandowski really, really nicely. Uh, Coutinho, you know, the one where Barca is playing half the wages and that they uh, threw out the Ducam. That's one of those signings that they really, really didn't need. Um, and then Coutinho scores two more and you can see kind of, uh, yeah, I want to score, but I don't want to score. I want to really play and show them, but I really don't want to da, 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 da. It was the weird thing. Um, Final stat for the game itself, all eight Bayern goals were assisted by a different player. Complete team performance. Uh, Bayern winning comfortably 8-2. It could be more. I think Bayern had more goals than Barcelona had shots, although, you know, they hit the post, so maybe there you can make it even. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. I mean, at the end, I'm getting so used to... Uh, I think, yeah, ever since they uh, went out for Roma, I'm getting so used to the shot of Lionel Messi at the end of a big tournament looking absolutely dejected. We saw in 2018 when he, when he got eliminated by Roma. I think or, or, already when they lost the year before 3-0 to Juve. Uh, lost the game against Roma. Then with Argentina at the end of this 4-3 crazy game between Ar 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 Argentina and France. Then, um, Liverpool last season. There is just something. This is for me uh, at, at the moment. If you ask me, Messi, it's not the uh, winning. Uh, it's this the absolute check. What am I doing here? Look, and this is the uh, Messi. Yes, he played maybe for 50, 50 minutes, but he cannot do it alone. And then you had the really feeling is what am I doing? Is please get me out of here. I really had that feeling. Uh, we probably can do a whole video of what has has it. Well, I mean, Kika Setien has already been fired. Uh, that was the easy part because uh, I cannot really blame Kika Setien for anything. Uh, he came in in the middle of the season. He, he he was not even the first choice. He seemed to make sense at the beginning, but if he cannot reach the squad, well, yeah, it's like sorry. Uh, the heads got a roll further up. The whole entire from. Bartomeu on, they all out, 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 we need, and uh, you know, if the elections are really happening, not this year, but the next year, everyone knows if the other candidate will win, and probably he's very likely to win now, uh, he wants to bring in Xavi, who do you get for that transition year? And I can only see Messi uh, wanting out, and probably this would not even be the worst for Barcelona, to be honest, because uh, you get his wages. Barcelona is crippled. They play, have a wage bill. It's unbelievable. But yeah, tip of the head to Bayern. We knew that Bayern will go through. I think every, every, everyone saw Bayern go through in this one. Um, there was little chance for Barcelona, but it will be that clear. I hope they finally read the signs. They should have read the signs um, already after the Liverpool defeat. They didn't react to that. 
I think the Roma one you can uh, put down that this was an aberration because I think that that was the one one season where really Barcelona probably should have gone through and won the whole thing. Uh, although who knows they would have played Liverpool in the semis, so who knows what would have happened there. But that was the one season where Barcelona was the last time really good, although not really Barcelona in, in, in anymore. Everything since then just went downhill, mismanagement getting an aging squad, getting not the players out. And then I think what really is calling, Ricky Puch, the one shining light for the future, is not even playing in this game. He was probably the, uh, in the Corona times the best player for Bar Bar Barcelona. Ansu Fati comes out, play those guys and not the old guard that uh, you just want to get rid of, to be honest. Anyway, I'm taking this away from the Barca side because there's more. Uh, quickly on the Bayern side, and this is going to be a long video, but this is a momentous game that deserves a long video. I honestly, I said it before, I think Bayern showed that they are vulnerable in this game. Uh, let's see what, if City go through, what Pep Guardiola uh, will do against. I think the only ones that could stop, maybe PSG, if it is high, high line, yeah, you know, if you have speed, you can uh, exploit this. I think Boateng is weak back there. Uh, so there is stuff that can be exploited, but you have to, this intense press. Bayern is a well-oiled machine and this intense press that Bayern is doing, you have to evade this and you have to be smart about it. Absolutely. Um, so there is a chance, but you gotta get out. Last thing, uh, this was also the duel of the German national team goalkeepers and I have to say Neuer didn't have to make many saves, but he made them when they were there. Uh, it's not necessarily on Ter Stegen, but what the real problem is, Ter Stegen always tried to play out from her back and immediately Barcelona got stifled. Uh, he didn't make any great saves, in many ways he couldn't make a save, but uh, it was a game that's for a goalkeeper. Uh, this is where you kind of want your world-class goalkeeper a little bit to step up as well. He made the saves late. Uh, because it could have been double digits. It was that clear, it was such a destruction. And I think, I also think that if Barcelona wouldn't have scored the second at Bayern. Yeah, but uh, you know, bringing Coutinho was a genius stroke because Coutinho wanted to have a field day with, with Barcelona, with his, with, with his teammate in him. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, this is a game that will be talked about a long time. When did Barcelona, I heard it this morning, when did Barcelona for the last, last time concede 8? 49 against Sevilla. It just doesn't happen. I mean, uh, it has so much. The one thing that has to happen now, I think, is that all the uh, top brass needs to step down, needs to be elections called. You need to get something going, get a new coach, make it completely new uh, and try to get rid of salaries. Uh, and players. Uh, it needs to be a real, real, real cut. Now, from all I hear, Pirlo is trying to do that at Juve already. Juve and Barcelona have very, very similar problems. And yeah, the last time we didn't have a Spanish team in the Samas was 2006 2007 when Milan won. So that ends an era. And I think it's the first time since 2005 or 5. Uh, that we don't have Messi or Ronaldo in the semis. And I'm gonna end on this. I think this finally is the end of the era of Messi and Ronaldo. Scary, but also new guys are coming up. Will this be the age of Neymar and Mbappé? Has to be seen. But I think, uh, I'm not saying they're done, I think may well, but I think the big era, Messi and Ronaldo, Corona, ended that one, I want to say. Okay, I'm sure I'm not the only one who has lots of thoughts on, on this game. Uh, drop a line below, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And yeah, I called this video the sack of Barcelona. It's from the sack of Rome, you know. When Rome, I think 15 somehow, Rome got sacked, meaning looting, raping, pillaging, murdering, killing. That's how it feels. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too. 
also please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.